All right. I um, hope everybody can hear me. Um, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. If you can uh, hear me, just give me some feedback. Let me know. Want to be sure everything's working correctly. This is my first real progressive uh, live stream. And my name is C, obviously. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Lila? Lilia, I'm sorry. Great, great, great. Um, I'm brand new to the team. Uh, new real progressive. Again, my name is C. Uh, the reason people call me C, uh, my first name is Curtis, but my middle initial is C and my last name begins with you're correct, C. So feel free, all my friends call me C and we're one big community. So I encourage you to call me C as well. Um, not sure how to, you know, introduce myself. Um, it's not like you go to a, you know, grocery store and you, you say, hello, my name is Curtis. Some people call me C, I'm a Washingtonian. And are these the bananas? So I, I kind of want to introduce myself by just being organic and tell you a little bit about how I found Real Progressives. And maybe through that, you'll, you'll get to know me a little bit better. I'm, full disclaimer, wearing this jacket uh, just because it's a special occasion. I'm just trying to look cool for all of you. Uh, but I'm wearing jeans. And it is extremely windy right now. I'm in Washington, D.C. based and very windy outside. But that's almost like a, a symbol of what's going on in the world right now, these, these winds of change. So let me tell you how I found Real Progressive. Um, really organically, uh, through connections, I've met several of the, the members um, in Philly and, and just in the communities on Facebook and throughout social media and not even knowing who they were. And I think that's the beauty of being a, uh, a progressive, a true progressive, a real progressive is because you're already a family. And when I went to Philly, for example, for the, for the DNC, there, you know, it's a flood of strangers, strangers, but you know, your you know, your home, you know, you're all there for the same fight for the same purpose. And the short version of the story is that I recently did a video because everybody's running around, they're doing certain things uh, to support the cause. And I did this video recently. I don't know if we'll link to it or not, but it's called Cry Me a River. And it's, it's basically about the outcome of the election and the different, the different reactions to it. Stephen, our fearless uh, founder, um, witnessed the video and, you know, the video is raw. It's, it's far too long. Um, it had, it had, uh, uh, you know, difficult lighting and, uh, it's, it's profane, you know? So Stephen saw the video and was like, you know what? You would fit right in. That's a team joke. Uh, and then the, the rest is, uh, my RP, my RP history, but Joining this team isn't me joining these brilliant people that everybody knows. Steven, Sandy, Nino, I can go on and on. Pete, you're a real progressive by, by your nature, you know? And I formulated my nature, you know, growing up as a, as a child in a military family. My dad was in the Air Force, traveled all over the globe, all throughout the uh, United States, read a lot as a kid. And so I was able to travel with my mind, but also seeing how different cultures interact, the, the different ways that they do things. And it just really opens up your mind. And I think that's the best way to show you who I am. It's because you already know who I am. It's because you know who you are. And you are you, I am you, we are we, and you know somebody who's like that. And I, I think we get caught up sometimes 
in, you know, the cult of personality. Throughout history, we've we've celebrated people like Bill Gates and and uh, you know um, you can look at Netflix. You can look at the founder of Uber. You can look, look you can look at Steve Jobs, right? Mother Teresa, uh, Martin Luther King. Um, you can look at Bernie and a true progressive, a real progressive realizes that it's not this one person that is directing, you know, this forward motion. It's the fact that they simply have chosen to do something, you know, it's between right and wrong. And when you choose that, you just do it. So I can tell you my personal stories of being in school, for example, and, and stepping in to defend somebody. But you see this all the time. You see someone saying, you know what? This is, this is not right. And you decide to make a change. You decide to do something. Going back to like, uh, I'm, my background is in IT. And so I'm fascinated with companies like Netflix and things like that. I know that Netflix went to Blockbuster, which was the monopoly at the time. And they said, we have this great idea for, for a service. And, you know, anecdotally, Blockbuster basically laughed and, and said, you know what, we're going we're gonna to keep things the way they've always been and stay the same. And we all know how that turned out. Netflix rose while Blockbuster faltered. Same thing with Uber. We, have, we had an existing monopoly, things the way that they were always going to be. And you have everybody having a story of a bad experience, right? And there's probably tons of people who sat and said, you know what, I wish there was a better way. But it's always been this way. It's always going to be this way. And yet this person said, you know what, that's not acceptable. I refuse to accept that things are always going to be this way. And boom, fighting, resisting. We're agents, we're agents of change. And the difference between a true progressive, a real progressive, is just a person simply getting up and saying, you know what, I'm going to do something. So we change the world one person at a time. You don't have to look at this big picture. That's the true north, which is what Stephen uh, mentioned during our planning meeting. There's a true north. There's a universal truth that guides everybody. Some follow it, some don't. Real progressives do. So you know me is my big, my big point because you know yourself. It's us, and we're doing this together. So what do we want to talk about? Um, oh, I forgot to mention, I have some water here. My, my voice is a little, a uh, little bit off because I'm kind of like fake sick. You know, it's, you get a little bit of cough. You're, you're a little, you know, you're a little sick, a little bit tired. But, you know, as a progressive, we've, we're familiar with being sick and tired. Um, I just... I was drawn to real progressives. I mean, I saw them everywhere. I respect their work. I bumped into Ed Hill in Philly. You know, I bumped into Claudia Stauber. I bumped into uh, Kimberly. And I was drawn to their energy without even knowing who they were associated with, what they were doing. And that sense of community is why I'm so happy to be a part of this team. I was in the planning meeting. I don't know if anyone saw a video uh, of that yesterday. Oh, I need to thank, I think his name was Andrew. Um, and I apologize if I got your name wrong, but I was searching for a certain word as we were trying to define our purpose. And uh, uh, I believe it was Andrew, he mentioned altruistic. And I was like, that was it. I said, I'm trying to capture this, this thing that we do. And, and you mentioned it. And that very act is indicative of what I'm talking about, that community. You know, I can be sitting there trying to formulate that word and you can both altruistic. We, we are doing this together. I mean, I'm excited 
for what we're, we're going to be doing in the future. I'm exciting, excited for what we're, we're doing now. And I'm extremely excited and extremely proud of what we've done already in the past. We ha we've decided to not accept the status quo. And we've decided to fight for change. We're change agents. We're change agents. And I'm extremely proud to be in this community and to show you what we're going to be doing in the future. Um, I should be reading your comments. If you have any questions, this feels this feels a bit like one of those old timey, um, you know, those old timey dating services. So I should be telling you that I like walks in a park and and hiking. I've met maybe four people who've hiked in my life, but everybody loves hiking, right? Turn foam sideways. Turn foam sideways. Oh, it's crooked. The picture's crooked. I don't need to see his knees. You're looking at my knees. <laughs> Your face is covered. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, let's get this. Is this better? Is this better? No, too low. It's weird. The picture shows me in full. No, no, no. Now you're sideways. Let me start the let me start the live stream over perhaps. It looks like it's fixed in the uh the horizontal state. Now you're sideways. Well, somebody told me to change the Here we go. How's this? Is this better or worse? Oh, just move over to the couch. Okay. Community, positive feedback. Thank you, guys. How is this? Better or worse? Thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> Andrew. I think it was you, Andrew, who came up with altruistic. But All right, good. All right, community, feedback, working together. That's what it's all about. That's what we're talking about. All right. Well, the text is really tiny. So if you have any questions, I'm happy to, to, to answer them. We see you fine on computers. Ah, so it's a, it's a, it's a media thing. That, let's, let's blame Facebook for that. Let me tell you a little story. And I'm trying to be cognizant of the time. But let me tell you a little story that that I hinted at earlier. When, when I was in uh, ninth grade, when I was in ninth grade, I mentioned my father was uh, in the military. He passed away in 2008, great man. And I had joined the school in the, uh, nice to meet you too, Travis. You, you need pads to, to need us. Ah, okay. Ah, it's you had a Galaxy. You, you had a Galaxy S4 phone. Fine, on my okay, great. Well, I was in a, I was in the ninth grade, and I had moved to the uh, school in the middle of the year. So you you can imagine how traumatic that might be. It's the phone. I screw my uh And so I had moved in the middle of the year. You know, it's a big socialization experiment. And I needed to get settled. I didn't have any friends. You know, it, all that stuff that you can imagine, right? I was befriended by this really, really skinny, scrawny, blonde girl. And she, you know, gave me the lay of the land and, and got me settled. So I became, like, protective of her, like a big brother. And so uh, I noticed over a period of time that she was being sort of picked on by this big stocky guy for no reason other than that she was really skinny. Now, I mention all that because I'm new, I'm confused, I'm lost. I don't know left from right at this point. I don't know 
who's going to be, you know, on my side, who's going to be against me. And yet when I found that out, it was that altruism that kicked in. And I, I was, you know, five pounds wet at the time too, right? So just a scrawny guy and a scrawny girl. And what I did was, you know, I wish I could say I was Wild Wild West or somebody. And I was like, you know, meet me about back and we're going to go at it and fist the cuffs. Okay. Fist the cuffs is a word that I only use on live stream. And so what I did is without thought, without, you know, a plan mode of action, I just wanted to do something is I pulled him aside after school and I said, look, I've noticed you've been picking on my friend. I'll leave her name blank. And I said, could you please stop doing that? I'm paraphrasing. I obviously don't remember exact wording, but that's all I had was to ask. He said, you know, basically this is, well, no, who are you? I'm going to continue doing what I'm going to do, what I want to do. And, and that was it. So I said, look, I tried to speak his language and I said, what if instead of picking on her, you pick on me? And he's like, I don't have time for this. I don't care about you. I don't know you. I said, why don't you, I'll let you hit me once, just once. We negotiated the terms. I'll let you hit me once in the stomach as hard as you can, as hard as you can. But after that, you leave her alone. He agreed. And so we went inside the boys' bathroom because I was waiting for my school bus to take me back home. And he punched me so hard in the stomach, but just once. And it hurt for days, right? Nothing was broken, but it hurt for days. And he stopped picking on her. Whenever he got a little out of line, I kind of give him that look. We have exchange, but he stopped picking on her. I'm still friends with her today. She's not just my Facebook friend. She's happily married, has two beautiful kids. And I told her that story years later, you know, after she was married. And she said, oh, I never knew. I always wondered why he stopped doing that. Again, this, I did this for no other reason other than it was the right thing to do. All of you progressives out there, you real progressives, know exactly what I'm talking about. You do it. You see it. This election wasn't about any specific candidate. It was about coming to terms with, I believe something is wrong and I want to correct it. I believe something is wrong and I want to correct it. And so you canvassed, you made phone calls, you made banners, you marched, you did whatever you could to right this wrong. And that's what every one of our heroes have done throughout history. Every one of us. So I don't want to go on too long. I, I, I know after this, I'm going to have thoughts of what I wanted to say. But that's the beauty of Real Progressives is because we can come on and share these views, share the, uh, these opinions of the community. And when I say we... I don't mean me, I don't mean all of these wonderful, brilliant people that I'm working directly with. I mean we at large. You know, we're only alone as we think we are. Every interest, every pursuit, everything that we seek, you Google that, you're gonna find a group. You're gonna find your people. And Real Progressives is our people. It's not a club it's a movement we're agents of change i'm so thankful to be part of this community thank you everybody for welcoming welcoming me aboard and all i can tell you is that get ready we're coming thank you so much i'll see you next time bye